Kicker 8 has an improved length tuning pattern tool. This tool allows copper traces to be manipulated after they are placed. And this is a significant improvement that greatly speeds up the process of modifying designs with control length uh, routing. So I'll show you how this works and see how quickly it is to add length to your traces. So I've got like a detail of my ESP32 clone and let's say that we want to add a bit of length to this track right here. So what you have to do is pick the length tuning tool. You can see there's options here for differential pairs or single tracks. So I'm going to go for a single track because I haven't set differential pairs here. So I'm also going to change the, the grid. Let's make it that. And all I've got to do is to click on the track that I want to make longer and then start moving my cursor to one way or the other. And let's say that I've got like this much length added. You can see there's a bubble there that, that shows the current length as I'm moving the, my cursor up and down. So let's say that uh, I'm happy or not quite happy, but let's say I stop here because there's no more space on the other side of where my cursor is or stop there. But now I've got these handles. This is a new feature in Kicker 8. I've got these handles that allow me to continue fine tuning the length. So this handle here makes the track taller. I can make it narrower that allows for more length to be added. You can see how the length changes as I am moving my cursor around. I can also uh, change the start and end of my of my tuning process like this. There you go. So let's leave it at that. So now I've got a new track that has got a length of about uh, 37 0.7 millimeters in total thanks to this interactive tool. Another thing that is quite nice is that the PCB editor remembers that I've previously tuned the length of this track. So for example, I can go out somewhere else in my PCB and do some other work and then eventually realize that I need to do some additional work with the length of this specific track. So all I've got to do is to just click on the track and you can see that the handles that allow me to do the tuning earlier still appear. KiCad remembers that this is a tuned track and it gives me the same tools to do further fine tuning later if needed.